and we are looking at temperatures dropping into the 30s overnight. Yep, we'll be below freezing as early as 10 o'clock this evening. And there could be uh, some frost in the area, but the cloud coverage will increase by 8 a.m. tomorrow. We are looking at 33 degrees your temperature early tomorrow morning and we'll be in the 50s for highs. Looking at the almanac, today's high we reached 42 degrees. That is about normal for this time of year. 20 degrees was our low early this morning, so it was cold overnight, much below that normal temperature of 27. High pressure has shifted just off to our east, so that's allowing a southerly flow to return, especially at the surface. So we are going to see a brief warming trend in our temperatures. Notice the normal high 41 degrees. We will be in the 50s on Sunday and Monday before our next cold front moves through Tuesday, dropping temperatures throughout the day. And yes, Wednesday, that is the high temperature of 27 degrees. So we will be back below normal for midweek uh, before we start to see temperatures back near normal for the weekend. Right now, we are sitting in the 30s. It's 34 degrees in Dayton, 35 in Troy, and 32 in Springfield. So we are already at freezing across Springfield, Bell Fountain, and up toward Wapakoneta. Richmond, Indiana has already dipped into the 20s. So with clear skies and calm winds, those temperatures are going to drop pretty quickly tonight. Here was the look at the sunset on our Dunkin' an oil company camera there in Springfield. And as you can see, we have clear skies heading into the night. So temperatures will be in the 20s overnight, mostly clear and cold. We are going to see a south wind that is calm anywhere from 5 to 10 miles per hour. But tomorrow the cloud coverage does return and we are looking at temperatures back in the 50s, 53 degrees. You're high with mild temperatures for the most part. Hour by hour forecast for tomorrow shows some sun possible early on, but then we will just be cloudy for much of the day. Those high temperatures in the 50s as early as 2 p.m. Future track, not much to show you tonight except for those clear skies. Then the cloud coverage increases tomorrow morning. We'll be pretty cloudy by lunchtime. We'll stay cloudy into the afternoon and evening. Then we start to see the rain return. That's going to be Sunday night and into Monday morning. Notice this is paused at 4 a.m. tomorrow. We'll start off isolated to scattered, but to the rain, the light rain for the most part will become widespread as we look ahead to Monday morning as early as 10 a.m. So this will affect that impact your drive time commute back to work on Monday and we could even see some scattered periods of moderate to heavy rainfall Monday afternoon uh, for the drive home possibly as well. Rainfall forecast isn't going to be too much, but we are looking at about a half an inch across much of the Miami Valley or less. Some isolated areas could get closer to three fourths of an inch. That rain is going to be wide widespread on Monday. We're going 100% and some rain will continue, especially into Tuesday morning before that front moves through and notice Tuesday temperatures will be dropping throughout the day, so there is a chance for some wintry mix on Tuesday. The day of the week I want to make sure you're ready for is going to be Wednesday. 27 degrees or high temperatures will start off in the teens there on Wednesday, so it is going to be a cold one. Hope you're ready for those early morning temperatures. Bus stop um, going to be cold Wednesday and Thursday. And first, we have to get through the rain on Monday. 27 degrees. It'll feel cold, but we've been spoiled so far. Pretty good winter. I know. Tomorrow, highs in the 50s. All right, we'll take that. Jack, we've been spoiled.